At that time, in 1993, he was sent off to Otis Federal Prison for almost eight years. And so here in person, I welcome the man himself, Mr. Insider, Gordon Gecko. You're all pretty much fucked. You don't know it yet, but um, you're the ninja generation. No income, no job, no assets. You got a lot to look forward to. Blood, buddy, is gonna be your blood. Uh, someone reminded me the other evening that I once said, greed is good. Now it seems it's legal. <laughs> but folks, you know, it's greed that makes my bartender buy three houses he can't afford with, with no money down. And it's uh, greed that makes uh, your parents uh, refinance their $200,000 house for two fifty, dollars And then they take that extra fifty, and they go down to the mall. They buy a plasma TV, uh, cell phones, computers, uh, an SUV, and hey, why not a second home while we're at it? Because gee whiz, I mean, we all know the prices of houses in America always go up, right? And it's greed that makes the government in this country cut the interest rates to 1% after 9-11. So we could all go shopping again. They got all these fancy names for trillions of dollars of credits, CMOs, CDOs, SIVs, ABSs. You know, I honestly think there's maybe only 75 people in the world who know what they are. But I'll tell you what they are. The WMDs. Weapons of mass destruction. When I was away, that's what they are. It seemed like greed got greedier with a little bit of envy mixed in. Hedge funders were walking home with 50, 100 million bucks a year. So Mr. Banker, he looks around and he says, my life looks pretty boring. So he starts leveraging his interests up to 40, 50 to one. With your money, not his, yours. Because he could. You're supposed to be borrowing, not them. And the beauty of the deal, no one is responsible. Because everybody's drinking the same Kool-Aid. Last year, ladies and gentlemen, 40% of all American corporate profits came from financial services. Not production, not anything remotely to do with the needs of the American public. The truth is, we're all part of it now. Banks, consumers, we're moving money around in circles. We take a buck, we shoot it full of steroids, and we call it leverage. I call it steroid banking. <laughs> I've been considered a pretty smart guy when it comes to finance. That's fantastic, man. And maybe I was in prison too long, but sometimes it's the only place to stay sane and look out through those bars and say, hey, is everybody out there nuts? <laughs> it's clear as a bell to those that pay attention. The mother of all evil is speculation. Leverage debt. Bottom line, it's borrowing to the hilt. And I hate to tell you this, but it's a bankrupt business model. It won't work. It's systemic, malignant, and it's global. Like cancer. It's a disease, and we gotta fight back. How are we gonna do that? How are we going to leverage that disease back in our favor? Well, I'll tell you. Three words. Buy my book. Prices and profits work.